Guys, this is the biggest problem with MMOs today. Is it nowadays that every single MMO developer out there treats mm -hmm. the level up experience in their game like it's some big, giant, boring grind that Wait. just needs to be sludged through yeah. in order to get to end game because, oh yeah, that's where the real fun is. How yeah. many MMOs exist nowadays where you start playing it because your friends are all playing it, you get to like level True. 15 or something, you're oh, bored out God. of your mind and your friends are like, nah, dude, like you gotta get to level 60, you gotta get to level 80, you gotta get to level 200 something before God. the fun really starts. What kind of garbage is that? It's the same people when people say like, oh man, oh, you don't like this kind of, is it with beer or like with whatever, like right? it doesn't matter what it is, but like, oh, you just have to drink it enough, then you'll like it. It's like, dude, if I, if I have to get used to liking it, I'm not gonna try to like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. A video game needs to be fun and entertaining from the moment yeah, nice, that you Chad. log in to the moment that you log out. Otherwise, what the heck is even the point of playing it? Grand if beer, you thank have you. to go through 500 hours of crap that's and garbage True. just to get to a few hours of fun, that's not a good game. And this is yeah. something that I've been thinking about a lot Ooh, for the classic. past several weeks, ever since I started playing Classic WoW Hardcore. You okay. see, in this version of World of Warcraft, you're trying to hit level 70 without dying. And if you do die, you have to delete your character right after. Mm -hmm. And this has created an extraordinarily challenging way to play the game True. that has hooked thousands of players. In fact, it, it's just the perfect... It's the perfect journey. It's the perfect journey through the world and the, the perfect way of experiencing, uh, like a developing like character within the MMO, right? Thousands of players. In fact, the community has been growing so fast recently that yeah. Blizzard is even releasing official hardcore realms. I just yep. made a video on that recently. Go check that one out. But you nope. know, as I've Maybe been doing classic <laughs> WoW hardcore, Watch this first. as I've been dying, and I've been having to restart uh -huh. in Duratar and Tearsfall Glades, Dunmoreau, Elwyn Forest, whatever. Yeah. As I've been having to do the same starting zones over and over again, I've never gotten bored of it. And I'm talking- Dude, with people ask me this all the time, man. How the hell aren't you bored? Like you've been playing this game for the past five years. And the, the best way I can really answer that is that I've been playing this game for the past 18 years and I'm still not bored. I don't know why. Uh, I do take breaks from it. There are times whenever I get kind of like burned out on it a little bit and I want to do other stuff, but I just like the game. And I'm talking with all these I'm not addicted, people guys. Guilds no, I'm and not addicted. in general chat and they're not bored of it either. People will say, oh yeah, this is my 20th character. Oh yeah, this is my 10th character. Yeah. Here we go again, Duratar for the 17th time. <laughs> I'm not bored of it. And why is that? <laughs> yeah. If you told me that I had to level up through Battle for Azeroth or Shadowlands oh, again God. in Retail WoW, I would tear my eyes out. Yeah. But if you told me, oh hey, you gotta do Tears Fall Glades for the 10,000th time since you started playing this game in 2005. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't bother me one bit. I would say, dude, let's do it. I'd make that undead rogue or that undead mage and I'd dive right in. That's cool. Why is that? Blizz I, I think a big reason, a very, very big reason why there's been such a big boom as well with hardcore is because there's so many people playing it. The vanilla WoW experience is so much more enjoyable whenever there's a lot of people playing the game because you see people out in the world. So like doing Tyrus Full Glades, maybe if you were completely by yourself and you never saw another player, it wouldn't be as fun, right? But because there's other people around, you interact with people everywhere you go, it makes it like a feel like a fresh experience every time. Back in yeah. the day, clearly had a completely different mindset when it came to the level up experience in mm -hmm. World of Warcraft. They wanted the leveling to be fun. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I don't. I don't think Dragonflight is terrible by any means, like any means at all. But I, I, I think it's a different so form of entertainment, and it's a different way of playing the game. Um, for sure. Knew that you were going to spend well, what the hell. untold numbers of hours. It's very different. Just That's not necessarily to get bad. To level sixty, and they wanted to make sure that that adventure hooked you right yeah. from the beginning. And there's a lot that we could talk about that has lended to that hook. Okay. What causes it? The first things for me that come to mind, like, oh, you know, why do I like classic WoW leveling so much, even mm -hmm. like in starting zones? I would say, well, I love the fact that all the gear matters and is True. relevant. I love learning my new class abilities and seeing what's coming next. I love earning, you know, the dual yeah. wielding as a rogue at level 10, the void walker as a warlock. I like earn what? that first green right. robe as a priest when you get to Brill and Tears Fall Glades, yeah. getting your first green item drop out in the world. There's so much to say. Every single yeah, time you level a new character in WoW, 
it's a memorable experience. You go out, you pick up professions in order to make your character even Oof, stronger than the tight. guy next to you. You take the time to mine those nodes or skin those wolves or whatever, and suddenly Oof. you feel like a badass walking around in the gear that you crafted yourself with a sharpened yep. weapon that you have sharpened with your own two hands. And I don't know, everything feels impactful. Everything feels like it's worth doing. Yep. And this is Very a true. huge contrast to modern World of Warcraft and other modern MMOs. It's very different, the leveling experience. It, it is completely different. Or picking Ravana, up, what's up professions or getting new pieces exactly of gear or whatever is completely meaningless. Mm -hmm. It's completely meaningless. It has no impact whatsoever. It does yeah, not it's about make the, the mobs less dangerous. It does not even make the level up experience feel like it's going faster. I mean, I mean, most people get their full biz gear whenever they log into their new character because you just get full heirlooms, right? So you're not getting upgrades as you're going. Maybe you could argue that nowadays you could, your talents can feel impactful as you're leveling, but it's it, it's just not the same. Anything, maybe you're killing mobs like points. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's just not even comparable anymore. A lot of people try to compare the games all the time, but they're just not the same. 1% faster. That's how it feels. And it's boring. If I'm playing an orc uh, we won, and I'm leaving Razor Hill and I'm a miner and a blacksmith and I'm a warrior, I'm thinking about several things. Ooh, blacksmith? Thinking, man, I really need to get healing potions. Those Ugh. will be very useful for me when I face Fizzle down in like the canyons later on down the road. Uh -huh. Hey, while I'm at North Watch Keep or whatever that little human like castle. Gotta make sure you watch out for Peyo, man, because any of those NPCs there could be Peyo. Liz, I need to be gathering linen cloth to level up my first aid. That's going to be uh, very useful to me Every as a single warrior. one of them. I need to keep my eyes out for mining nodes because I need to create a new copper vest. Oh, I lost my I need crab to level yesterday. Up my blacksmithing. I want to make that green two-handed axe that's oh, going to make me unkillable for so many levels. I'm thinking about all this stuff Vanilla, on top man. of the quests that I have to do. On top of the fact that I'm in the world, I'm God. planning out my route. I Like, you're more engaged with the game. True. And this is something that I wish that the modern game had. And so in a way, I mean, I, I guess Vanilla World, the, the whole journey is so, so awesome. But a lot of people don't enjoy the late game a little bit in, in a different way. It's it's just different games, man. Whereas, like, retail, I think for the most amount of people are just only about that, right? I've been sitting here have you watched this before? I don't know. I don't think I have. It. Regardless, I mean, we're almost done with the video. I feel this way when I play Dragonflight, for example, when I'm leveling a new character. Yeah, maybe people. We'll, we'll get I mean, some more really. different videos to watch as well. Leveling in Dragonflight is way better. Well, we're almost done with the video, though. In the past few years, it's a lot of fun. There's all these cool systems that you mm. can unlock, new things to do. But That's speaking cool. for me, when I was leveling in Dragonflight, there was no moment where I freaked out and I got really excited, kind of like nah. you do when you get your first six-slot bag dropping off of a wolf in Dunmoreau. To be fair, getting get, get in the Dragonflight, Dragonflying, whatever the heck that was, that, that was pretty cool. I will say that. I will I will give that to them in Dragonflight. That was really, really sick. Something Flying around with that new uh, Dragonflying thing. extremely useful to me in the future. I am happy that this happened. This is great. It just changed my entire strategy playing forward in the game. Okay. I don't know. There, there was never really a moment like that for Tail me. flying system? In Star Wars The Old Republic, a game I recently... It's fun, but through, maybe you can get repetitive. I didn't really have a moment like that. Even in Elder Scrolls Online, a game that I really enjoy, ESO, I never played you don't that. really have those moments. Modern MMOs just treat the level up experience like it's just a chore. And if you're going to treat yeah, the level up degree. content like it's just this boring grind that needs to be just drudged through, why even have it in the first place? Just have players start at max level and just jump right into the end game. What is okay. the purpose of early game? Early game in an MMO should fill you with a sense of adventure. Early game yep. should be teaching you how to play your class. Early game should be introducing you to the lore. To the yeah, I mean, introducing you to the world, basically. One thing about retail that makes me not want to try it is the fact that how many systems there is in the game. Uh, it's too overwhelming and complex. I, I, I think, I don't know how many new systems they really have in Dragonflight, but I think I think that's that's kind of bad in a way that they always did was like they introduced systems and then they would delete that system for a new system in the next expansion, right? World, the mechanics of yeah. the game. It should be introducing you to treasures Champion. and moments that make you go, whoa, that was awesome. In an MMORPG, a game all about leaving this world, you know, behind, 
and immersing ourselves into a whole new Ashes of creation is going to be amazing. MMO Maybe. needs to cultivate a feeling of going on an adventure. True, exploring a world. games compared to older MMOs just don't have that. There's barely any MMOs that really adhere to this formula and made yeah. it like a core concept of their gameplay. You have early World of Warcraft, Lord of the Rings Online, Star never Wars that. Galaxies. Never played that. You know, what other There's a lot of those MMOs I've never played before. Those are there. I don't really remember. I did Maybe not know Spam. Warhammer man. Online when it first came out, but that was so long ago. I, I don't remember. It's just fascinating watching all these people oh, that's me. playing classic hardcore. Bro, what a... Whatever, man. I think the most boring part of WoW, of WoW is that it's 1 to 70 because of how leveling works. You literally have 9% of zones completely dead. It is an MMO after all. And if you're playing an MMO when, the, when there's not other people in the game, it doesn't feel that fun. Dying at level 8. But that, to level that's not really retail's fault, I guess. I mean, there's just too many zones. I mean, we are like, what, 50, 50 expansions deep at this point, right? And level 20 or something. And then just starting all over again. Same zone, and they oh, have F. no problem with it. They're just like, oh, cool, let's do it again. And it just really shows how good Blizzard's old school game design was in the fact that it's True. so replayable. But I'm sure there's going to be a good lot of that. people that are going to disagree with that. Mm -hmm. So that's my rant for the day, fellas. I just wanted to share a few thoughts hey, with guys, of retail a few little good. observations to a certain that degree. I've seen while playing WoW recently and seeing this big change in the community. What do you guys think, though? Do I have a point? Am I just being silly? And if you don't know anything about Classic WoW Hardcore, by the way, check out this video. Okay. I gave Classic WoW Hardcore a chance on your screen like right the video. now because in that video, I go through my entire adventure. From getting killed multiple times, leading level one raids, finally getting a girlfriend, and also harassing my friend and desperately trying to teach him how to play WoW. All right, cool video. Uh, I mean, it's a cool little video by uh, by Nixon right there, guys. Very, very little vanilla talk, I suppose. We do a lot of those things here and there, but uh, very, very nice little video there by him. Okay.